what's up YouTube viewers today I'll be showing you guys how to download install set up and use uh, emulators uh, for those of you who uh, don't know what an emulator is an emulator is just basically a program that allows you to play a certain type of console like an example would be a, a Nintendo 64 emulator which is uh, one of them that we're going to be focusing on today uh, so what I use is a website called CoolRom.com. The link will be in the sidebar. Um, so CoolRom.com, it's where you can just get all your ROM files. A ROM file is um, a file, basically your game file, that you'll need to play the game. Uh, so anyways, uh, first you just have to look up emulators, whichever one you, know, sorry, whichever one you want. Uh, the newest one, I guess, would be your Sony PlayStation 2. But, um, or an Xbox, I guess. I think that's newer than PlayStation 2 anyways. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, we're just going to look up Nintendo 64. I'll show you some other ones later that gets more, they get more, um, more complex and stuff. Uh, I find that Project 64 is the best emulator, uh, for, uh, Nintendo 64. And then you, once you click on that, and whichever one you want, just scroll down to download here down here at the bottom of the page just click here and it'll bring up another page it's just a file send page just scroll down to the load button and it's a binary file so you just save it and it's an exe so that's it's basically all you have to do is run it it'll bring you through a setup and uh... save it somewhere you'll remember uh, so here's mine that's project sixty four it's actually the newest, but uh, and you can also, if you don't want to use that link, you're afraid of it up on Google and you'll find it pretty easily. Anyway, so when you open it up, uh, this is what you're going to look like. That uh, sorry, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, it's just the interface. Um, here you have your manual and all of your op. Here you have all your options, like your graphics, your audio, and your controller. Um, you can actually use your PS3 controller on and stuff on this. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, then uh, there, I have another tutorial explaining uh, how to use it on your PC and how to use it as a mouse, just so you know. That link will also be in the sidebar. Um, so anyways, now you're going to need your game files. And your game files are still on CoolRom.com. And you just go to ROM files right here. That little thing right there. Every time you go over it, this comes up, this huge thing right here. And now you're just going to scroll down to Nintendo 64, click on it, and it'll bring up this. And here on the sidebar you have all your top 10 Nintendo 64 game downloads. Uh, just for this purpose, I'll just go somewhere random. Apparently there's no games with you. Okay, let's see what this is. Huh. Interesting, I've never actually seen this before. And you just have to wait the 10 seconds, scroll down to the bottom. I think it's 12 seconds in total, actually, but... And just wait for it. And that'll pop up. Click on download your file. Oh, shit. I have no clue what I just did, but okay. Huh. Alright. Anyways. Uh, so... This is, uh, the actual file. It, most of them are zip or RAR, so you will need WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Uh, those are pretty easy to get. Um, and so once it's done, it will take uh, like a minute or so. So I'll just pause it, the video until it's done, and uh, you'll see what it looks like. Alright, uh, we're back. This is what you'll usually come up with. Uh, usually there's Z64 or... N64, some sort of file like that. Um, all you need to do is just extract that somewhere you'll remember. Um, I'll just extract it onto my desktop for now, because I probably will not keep that game. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Now all you have to do is come back to your Project 64, say File, Open ROM, and go to wherever you saved it. and there you go so now you are playing your game that you wanted to uh... 
that's pretty much all you need to know for this. Um, here you can reset the game if you want. You can pause it. You can save and uh, save slot. That's actually on this, so you don't actually need like a Romo pack or whatever. Um, then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's it for Project 64. But um, you can also get into more complex emulators, like uh, for example, like a I don't know. Don't pay no attention to what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, uh, like a more complex one, like a it's a Dreamcast uh, emulator. Um, I find that the best Dreamcast emulator is actually called uh, Null DC, and uh, this is it. So uh, I'm gonna get some links, and then we'll be back. All right, so now I'm back. Uh, this link will also be in the sidebar. This is for Null DC, um, but I'm just gonna be showing you, uh, like, for Null DC. You can't just load the game file. Actually, I think you can for no, no, you can't. But um, so what you're gonna have to do for programs like this is you have to get a program called Daemon Tools, and uh, you can just search that up on Google pretty easily. Uh, no, not... God. thank you. And then you just go here, um. And what you do is you download a game file from wherever, so like I have in here. And that's called, it's usually they're CDI files. And what you have to do is once you have it downloaded and installed, a little icon pops up down here. You, all you have to do is right click, say virtual devices, and then it will pop up with like, and so basically it's creating a virtual hard drive. And then you say mount image. And all you have to do is find your game file. Uh, no, sorry, that's the wrong one. And then you just mount that image. And when you mount that image, you just load, uh, load your game instead of your CD uh, drive. You just load it from your virtual drive. And I'm pretty sure you have to do that for a lot of them, like a GameCube, uh, which is I use Dolphin for GameCube. And uh, anything like that where you need a virtual drive, I suggest you get uh, Daemon Tools. Um, also, Null DC doesn't support game controllers unless you get a program called Joy to Key. That's all in my uh, PS3 controller uh, tutorial as well. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to be back with any more tutorials. Oh, sorry, more tutorials, sorry. And, uh, if you have any, please uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll hope to get to it. Thanks guys for watching.